Greetings y'all from inside my Kia Sorento SUV. Boy, do I need some sun. And I'm in just the place to do it, Austin, Texas. Because guess what? I am on another epic road trip. This time I am headed to Orlando and then taking a left, following the whims of the weather and making my way up to Bangor, Maine and stopping to see various friends and family along the way on the Eastern Seaboard. An opportunity for me to revisit exactly what it is that I love about being a nomad, about reinventing what my rig looks like and how it functions inside, and hopefully meet a whole bunch of nomads out there on the road, and revisiting the stealth game that I like to play. At the moment, I'm sitting in a supermarket parking lot. I was in a Planet Fitness parking lot, and plan to be in a hospital parking lot tonight. Will I get a knock? And so far into my third year, have not experienced that yet. On my way to Austin, I stopped overnight at a rest stop in New Mexico. Apparently it used to be an old RV park and they repurposed it into a rest area. And I took that opportunity to really, really dig deep to get rid of more stuff in here. I've had the dream of experiencing just how little a human requires to be on this planet. And that is what I'm doing right now. Paring down what I have and really enjoying the lightness and the weight, any change in my gas mileage, and having much more room in here. I changed the orientation of my sleeping area from east-west back to north-south that I originally started out with in this SUV. Of course, enjoying that extra room and also the way I have that set up with some empty crates holding up the bottom half of my sleeping area. I chose not to put anything inside those crates, so that has automatically restricted me into how much stuff that I can keep. For a while on this trip, leaving from Arizona, crossing through New Mexico, and then eventually into Texas, Texas takes a long time to traverse. I grew up in North Dakota and Minnesota and was used to long, flat stretches going on forever and also the wind, getting very much reacquainted with both of those things. These are some of the more interesting things I've seen in the last few days across the vastness of New Mexico and Texas. So I'm happy to be in an area now where there is definitely more amenities like Planet Fitnesses, like Sprouts, or Natural Grocers, or grocery stores that have an organic section. Those things that I deem important for me and fit into my lifestyle. One of the philosophies that's helping me in this endeavor that I learned from attending the Howa Virtual Caravans that I've been a part of for pretty much four years is let the stores be your pantry. You don't have to buy everything that lights up your, your nervous system as a good idea to have with you. Let them use their space and eventually when you do need it, then buy it. I have a workout regimen that takes about an hour and a half and it's something that I've committed to helping me stay out here on the road as long as possible and on the planet for as long as possible. So having a Planet Fitness to do that inside when the weather is not exactly cooperating, it can be done like in a park or a rest area, but it's nice to be able to borrow amenities on the inside and then of course use a shower. I also had a little bit of work done on my vehicle. There was a fender protector that had come loose and was wearing away quite a bit. So I got that replaced and 
before that happened, it would flap in the wind if I went faster than 55 miles an hour and obviously if there were gusts you know 20 to 50 miles an hour like there is in the desert so I got used to going 55 miles an hour and I noticed of course how much it affected my gas mileage so since the time of getting that replaced I've experimented with slowing down to about 57 miles an hour on average previous to this I like to stick around 61 so I'm enjoying now seeing the difference that that four miles an hour makes I'm also experimenting with something called biphasal sleep where you sleep for a certain number of hours and then you wake up and you intentionally get up for an hour or two and do quiet things and then have a second sleep. Apparently this type of human strategy has been referred to in antiquity, in medieval writings, in literature, in memoirs, in journals, and has been studied by scholars who realize that in translations those terms first sleep and second sleep, because they didn't know what they were, were just glossed over. So we haven't been made aware of this phenomenon. It also re-emphasizes the impact of artificial light and the Industrial Revolution and the impacts on our sleep of both of those things. So far what stands out for me is how much less I think about, oh my gosh, I woke up and I can't get back to sleep and what, what is that gonna do to me tomorrow? I, I, I need my sleep. All of those worrisome thoughts that we can get about sleep. Now, during this experimenting period, I wake up, I do something quiet, and I'm not thinking about it at all. And when I'm getting sleepy again, I think, ah, time for second sleep. It's that easy. It's yet another layer of human existence that has been appropriated away from us because of decisions made by a very small group of people who profit from those decisions. So I'm very much looking forward to the effects of this experiment down the line. So I'm off to enjoy some cool stuff in Austin, Texas. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a great week and we'll see you next time. Bye bye. That's what we do here.